Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how you can add a domain on Mailgun. If you have a Mailgun account, you're trying to use the SMTP relay for Mailgun. This is how you can add a domain and verify the DNS records. So we're going to come here under sending. If you want to do so, you come here under sending and then you go into domains so even if you're just on sendings you're going to see this button if you don't see this button which i know you're probably not seeing the button if you have a new account and you have not added your credit card so for you to see the button you're going to have to upgrade your plan not to a paid plan necessarily but you just need to add your credit card details so if you come here under plan and billing you can see that i'm in the foundation trial plan so this is giving me five K emails per month for the first month and for the first month it will be zero that means that i'm just in the trial period as soon as this trial ends i will automatically get charged 35 dollars per month which is not what i want so if you don't want that you can come here so for you to add your credit card this is how to do it just click there on upgrade and if you come down you're going to see there is Okay, I can't see it here because I'm already upgraded. But if you come down here, you're going to see the free plan that gives you the 5K emails per month. So that's the one you click on and then you continue on from there. Unfortunately, or fortunately for me, I've already upgraded to the free plan for 5K a month. So if I don't want to get charged, if you don't want to get charged the $35 a month next month, what you'll do, you'll come here under these settings and then you'll click and subscribe. So let me refresh this and see if I've already done that because I do remember I did that at some point. All right, yes, I did that. This means that from next month, I will not be charged uh, the $35. I will move into a free plan called Flex. So for you to get to this plan, the Flex plan, first of all, you're going to add your you're going to add your credit card like I've told you, click on upgrade and then choose the free foundation trial. And then once you do that, just click on that and then click on the call to action which was here before i think it was uns unsubscribe so click on unsubscribe and that's going to ensure that next month if you want to try mailgun you don't have to pay the 35 dollars a month you'll just be using the free plan and if you exceed the thousand emails per month it will also be charged at roughly one dollar per thousand emails so that's important because if you don't do this you don't have your credit card added you will not be able to send to anyone you will only be able to send to verified emails so let's add a domain just come back here under sending and then we're going to click on add new domain so for my domain i'm going to use this domain which is on cloudflare if your domain is not on cloudflare make sure that you add it on cloudflare or wherever your domain is being hosted wherever your domain is being hosted that's where you can add your dns record so for me i've added it on cloudflare and i'm going to use it here on cloudflare so if you come back here you're going to add paste so i'll paste the domain name there so they do recommend that we use a subdomain for this i will follow the recommendation and i will add a subdomain I'll just call it mail g you can call it mail dot your domain but i'm going to call mine mail g dot dig dot com and then the domain region where we provide two regions to send your messages from so you can send from either us or eu i'm going to choose the us location and then there you can see advanced dkim settings dkim key length of course i'm going to choose the longer one which is that and then i will click on add domain so just make a note that our domain is called mail g dot whichever domain i chose so the next step i need to add my dns records and if i scroll down i can see all my dns records here i need to add that i need to add a txt record so I will copy and I will come back to Cloudflare and I will add the first record which is a TXT record. So wherever your domain is, 
where you can change it. Whatever you can change the DNS records, go there and do this. So I'm going to add a txt record and the name will be mail, mail g and then the value that I got and you can see this is an SPF record. So let's add the SPF record. So we've added the first one. Now the second one, I'm going to copy this. Copy, we need to create another TXT record. Add record, choose TXT. And the value is what I chose. You can even paste the entire thing if you want to. You can paste the entire thing, but I, I know how Cloudflare works. That's why I'm just pasting the first part, but you can paste the entire thing there. That won't be a problem. And come back and we're going to take the entire text record that we've been given there. Paste. And we're going to save that. Which records do we need to add? We've added the two txt records. The next ones we need to add. We need to add an MX record. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy the value for my MX record. Copy. And I will put that in there. Remember that is an MX record. Add. And then I'm going to choose MX. MX. And my MX record will be mail G. And then the mail server is the one that we've been given by Mailgun. And then TTL, we can put TTL at an hour. And then priority, let's use 10. And then we're going to save. Coming back, what else? We still need another. MX record. I will copy the second MX record and we need to add another MX record. So come back, add MX. You can just search MX, choose MX. So I'm just getting the details from here. You can just copy it from there, paste it in there mail server is the one we've been given and that's mxb time to life let's choose one hour time to leave one hour and then we're going to use a priority of 10 and save and that's it that's it for this so we just have to wait for the domain to propagate with the details that we've set up on our on our site okay there's still one more we've added mx we need to the CNAME record is necessary for tracking, opens, clicks, and unsubscribes recommended. So let's just add the CNAME. It's not doing any harm. So we're just going to copy that as it is and come back to your DNS, DNS provider. And this is a CNAME. I will paste the value there. And then this one as well, I will copy. paste and oh remember do not proxy this i have forgotten to tell you that do not proxy any of this so which other one did we add this ones don't have proxies cname cname cannot be proxied mx cannot be proxied but the cname that we've added for which is the list the last cname we've added make sure it is not proxied so all you have to do is just wait for everything to propagate. And then after that, you should be able to send mail with your domain. So I'm just going to click there, verify DNS. And if any is ready, it will show us here. So you can see this one is showing us the current value. And this means that it has added this records. Now the next ones that may take a little bit of time is this MX records. So we can try to verify, but just give it time. But anyway, you can see 
Cloudflare is very fast. Everything is ready, including the CNAME record. So our domain has been added. If you come back into domains, we'll see that we have two domains and we can use this to start sending our mail. So remember, I chose to use the subdomain as was recommended, but you can definitely use a full domain if you want to as well. I still need to verify. Let's wait. Let's wait and see. But by now, it should be able to send mail. If you just give it like an hour, it will be able to send mail. If you need to use it, you can get the SMTP details here. So these are my details. You can add these details. You can add your details and then you can start sending mail wherever you want to send mail, whether you're using the SMTP or you're using an API. So you can add your API key API details, wherever you need them, SMTP details, wherever you need them. Now, as you can see, my details are open to you, but of course, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to click there and then I'm going to reset the password. So don't try to use these details because they won't be any helpful to you. Click there on domains. So I've verified everything. So I'm guessing you just need to give it time and everything is going to work well, okay? Verify, you can see when I click on verify the third time, it seems like it's verified. Let's go to domains and see. Refresh. All right, there we go. You can see my domain is now verified. This means that I can send mail and if you use this to send mail, well and good. So as I've said, if you want to send mail, just click on the domain and then you can choose whichever means you want to use, whether you're using SMTP or you're using API. All right, that's it. How to add your domain on SMTP. How to add your domain on Mailgun. If you need to, uh, to add it wherever. And in another video, I'll probably be doing a video of how you can use this to send mail on Hestia CP. So you can wait for that video. See you next time. If you have any question, feel very free to let me know.